Welcome to another informative series brought to you by Ortruo. In today's lesson we will be looking at attenuation. The possible cause of this problem will be discussed in detail, couple with the practical examples. Stay tuned. Andrea There is this issue that have been recurring in my plant which is one of the reason why I feel I should seek your advice All right go ahead Let's see if we can be of an help because no one is an island of knowledge In my plant we are having a reoccurring problem which is the remote workstation is losing communication intermittently we have checked for continuity which is to check if the wire is not broken and from our check the cable is continuous i have also been able to ping the workstation in question and it was successful okay which means there are time where there will be communication between the two workstations while there are time that communications will be lost okay perfect again like you said you have been able to check the station right that is continuity has been carried out end to end hum i would have asked if you have been able to compare the program of the machine I don't think it will be applicable in this situation because like you said the problem is happening intermittently then the address of the 2 PLC is not going to change at interval if i may ask what type of network are we dealing with here is it profibus or profinet profinet communication protocol was used okay the profinet cable coming from the plc pass through the cable tray rung before it finally terminate to the machine panel if i may ask how about the power cables of course the power cable was also terminated along the rung and it was neatly terminated really most likely the reason why the problem we are having here is signal attenuation in practice it is not advise able which is why there are issues like this let quickly look at what was learned during our time in college that way it will sink better attenuation is any reduction in the strength of a signal which are weakening of a signal's strength which can be due to noise distance and other external factors the above is the general terms Let's look at how it is related to electrical signals. It is the loss or reductions in the amplitude or strength of a signal as it travels through copper conductors. It can also be due to resistance on a longer length wire. Now let's look at it in terms of voltage. Voltage equal 20 log 10 into the ratio of Vs which is voltage at the source all over Vd. that is voltage at destination now by comparisons and in an ideal situations the voltage at input should also be equal or close to the voltage at the other end of the wire now that we have known what we are looking for when a signal cable and power cables are installed together the higher current carrying cable will distort the low current cables because in current carrying cable electromagnetic field are usually generated if you want to know what usually happen when current flow through a cable you can check one of my video on that now back to the issue at hand if i may ask what is the total length of the cable terminations is it more than 100 meters no it is not up to that just some few feet from the adjacent panels on a final note during panel design machine designer usually terminate the signal and the power cable a little bit far away from each other and if they are going to be terminated on the same rung 
metallic shield or plate are usually installed in between. This is done in order to prevent attenuations from happening. Now let do a quick recap. We started off looking at the issues that happens intermittently in a plant. The possible cause was discussed extensively. Finally, we ended off looking at the practical solution. In the coming series we will be looking at PLC. The important of this device will be looked at in details couple with a practical example. Stay tuned.